Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how to download the 2020 DigiBujo by Jenny Gallen Designs. I'm going to show you the blue, but it the instructions are the same whether you buy any other color or the leather, it doesn't matter. They're all going to download the exact same. So I'm showing you this image from the Etsy app, but you cannot download from the Etsy app. You need to go to Safari and go to the website, www etsy.com we're going to download from the website log yourself in click you purchases and reviews find your purchase there's the 2020 and I'm going to click download files okay the 2020 comes with a bunch of zipped files a PDF that's a help guide and your journal itself is also in a zipped file so I'm going to start with the PDF by itself I'm going to click download because that's a help guide okay it's all here now I'm going to click the up arrow and tell it where to store this so I'm going to save to files I'm going to click iCloud Drive you save it wherever you want to save it I'm going to make it a brand new folder this is the 2020 blue, so I'm going to call it that. You name your folders whatever you want. So now I have a new folder. I'm going to save that instruction guide right into my 2020 blue. I'm going to double check to make sure it's there. It says it has one item in that folder, and there it is. Okay, I go back to my Safari, click the back arrow. There's all my files. I've already downloaded this one. I'm going to just start from the top and work my way down. Download. Yes, download. You'll see that the little arrow is jumping at me, telling me that there's a download pending. Okay, I'm going to just download the rest. Download. Download again. You'll see the little arrow is jumping at me again. So now I have weeks, I have days. Assorted. Download. And you'll see it here. Weeks, days, assorted. This one I've already downloaded. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to go to my next zipped file. Download. And there it is. Weeks, days, assorted. PDF and numbers. I did it this way because they are zipped files. The one that is a PDF alone, I saved individually using this little icon. So now that they're all downloaded. Okay, I'm going to my files folder into my downloads folder. If you don't have it in the favorites like this, then click iCloud Drive and simply look for your downloads folder and you'll see that all of my downloaded files are here. Assorted days, PDFs, and weeks. Just the same as I have them here. One, two, three, four. They are over here in my downloads folder, one, two, three, four. So we're going to start with the first one. It created a folder for me. It opened right up. Open the folder. And there's stickers provided. I'm going to select, select all. Now if you want them all, because they're stickers, and they're PNG files, if you want them in your photo album, in your photo roll, click share and save images. We're going to just do that to show you. When you go into your photo roll, you will see that the last photos there are the ones I just downloaded. Or you can select all. Instead of going to photos, you can put them into one of these folders. Select move, pick the folder you want, and move. Okay, let's double check that. 2020 Blue now has eight items, and there are all my stickers as well as the help guide. Okay, back to my downloads folder. I'm going to click that one goes with that one, sorted. I'm going to click days, months. It'll open a folder for me. Open the folder. There's six items here, eight items there. Click on your folder. More stickers. Select all. Again, if you want to save into your photo roll, go this route. 
or select select all and move them into a folder if you want to save it this way. It all depends on how you want to save them. Okay, so I just moved them. They went disappeared from here. They went into my iCloud 2020 folder. Click open the next one. More stickers. Select all. I'm going to move them into the 2020 blue folder. Okay. So I've moved those stickers. I've moved those stickers. This one says it's a PDF and numbers. Let's see what that is. Open the folder. That is a sticker file. These are PDFs. These are your actual journal. You have a Monday Start Journal PDF file. You have a Sunday Start Journal PDF file. So you can choose. Um, you're getting both, the Monday Start and the Sunday Start. And this is a new cover that you get in case you want to see a cover when you first open rather than this pretty picture. I'm going to again select them all and I'm going to move them into my file. Okay, so I just move that. One more to open. Weeks has five items, more stickers. Select all. I'm putting them all into the folder, but you can, like I said before, you can put them into your photo roll if you want. Those are all moved. This one has six. Select all, move to the folder. That is all my downloads. I'm going to go back to my drive. I now have 37 items in my folder, 2020 blue, and there they all are. You've got journals and you've got stickers. You've got a brand new cover and you have a help guide. All contained in one folder, easy to find. Now I chose to go to Drive, iCloud Drive. You can choose to save wherever you want. Okay, now to actually place it into GoodNotes, I'm going to click New, Import. I'm going to open that folder I just made. I'm going to, let's do a Monday Start. So I have a Monday Start journal. It's downloading. And there it is. Should I choose to add that new blue cover, I'm going to click the plus sign. Import. Find my blue cover. Because it was a PDF, I'm going to import this way. And now I see that it's in the wrong position, so I'm going to click my four squares, long press, and simply put it in the front. Close. Now, when I open GoodNotes, the front cover is blue. If you don't want the blue front cover, simply don't do that step, and you will see this when you open GoodNotes here. Okay? So that is the Monday start. Well, let's say you change your mind and you want the Sunday start. Click New, Import. I want the Sunday start instead. And there is my Sunday start. It's downloading. Click that. And there it is. I'm not going to add the blue cover here so that you can see if you add that cover it will look like this on your main GoodNote screen. If you choose not to add that cover you will see this on your big screen. Okay. So these will both work the same if you select the pen icon you get tools in order to write on this. If you deselect the pen icon, they go away and now your links will work. So if you click calendar, it takes you to your year at a glance. I'm going to go back to index. If you click notes, you go straight to your notes page. If you click 
the watch. It takes you straight to your tracker page. If you click one of these little tabs over here, you go straight to Jenny's Etsy store for shopping. If you click the journal itself, it just swipes to the next page, which is your index page. The index is a link. Whenever you touch the index, you'll come back to this page. If you click the thumbprint, you will go to this year at a glance. Any of these are links, January, February, all the way down. You have daily linked pages, February 1, February 1. You have weeks linked, week 5, takes you to week 5. Week 6 takes you to week 6. You also have a next week button. So I'm on week 6 now. Now you have week 7, week 8, and so on. Okay. Back to my index. You have 10 blank links, customizable. You can put whatever you want in there. If you click on the thumbprint, you have a month and a year at a glance. And all of these one, two, three. All of these weeks are links. All of the months are linked here. Okay, so if I click a six, I'm going to go to week six. If I go to week 14, I'm going to go to week 14. Okay. The days here will not click because you have them linked over here. All your months have your daily links and your weekly links. This one will give you weekly links and your months are on the side. Now, all those pretty images that I just added, you can go side by side with GoodNotes, open that folder, there's all your stickers you just downloaded that came with, okay, you can select a sticker, drag it over, and start personalizing your very own custom journal just like that. This journal belongs to Maria. Okay. So let me show you one that I'm already working in. This is my 2020 in the leather cover that I already use, I decided to use my customizable links as my 2019 months. So there's my August. I didn't work much in August and then I added a spare page and added a weekly, another weekly, a daily. I just added in my own stickers and made it completely custom. Let's go into September. 2019. I added in a monthly, a weekly, a daily. The beauty of a customizable journal is you add in as needed. Okay, if I wanted a writing page between this one and this one, I'm going to go to my writing page, three dots, copy page, go back to where I was, I was in September, and I want to add a page between somewhere, let's see, where was I? Between these two, so I'm going to click the plus button, paste, and it's going to, it's got things selected for me, it's going to paste a page after or before, after, and I'm going to paste a page. And now I have a writing page between this day and this day. Okay, so let's say you already have a page and you just want to copy. Click the plus sign. Current template is the current page you're working in. And now I have two writing pages between Thursday and Friday. Okay. Same thing if you wanted to add a spare dot page. 
three dots, copy page, and then go where you want it to be, and paste page after or before, wherever it is that you want to add. my tracker page. I've chosen to put all of those stickers in here as kind of like a um, sticker book. So all my dailies are in here. I've got weeklies, monthlies. These are all included with your journal. Yearlies, words, And all of those stickers are the same stickers that are in my blue folder. Okay? The only difference is that I have blue numbers with my blue folder and I have pink ones with my pink journal and brown ones with my leather journal. all included with your journal. You can either leave them in a folder or pop them in your index to be used as a sticker book. However you would like to do that, add in your own custom trackers. Very customizable. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.